Hi folks, Robin here. In this video I'm going to be showing you my ultralight tarp and bivvy setup. But first things first, I need to get cracking up this hill, so let's go. Some of you may remember, I used to have a mountain laurel designs trail star. Absolutely fantastic shelter. Like a palace inside, it would boss the wind, no problem at all. Cracking shell, but I sold it to make some money to pay for the scarp, the scarp one. And I don't regret selling it, but I do miss having the tarp. So I've been on the lookout for quite some time, but there's nothing I've really fancied. And then I was watching Anthony Payne's YouTube channel about a week or two ago, and lo and behold, he's got this shelter. It actually looks not bad at all. So I managed to find one on the internet. I bought it. And that's what we're going to test tonight. So fingers crossed all goes well. Because it is quite breezy. Right, well the winds at the summit were creeping up towards 30 miles per hour. I've got my little wind doofer because I don't want to bullshit wind speeds to try and get views. But I touching 27 there. Right, much better here. I'm going to pitch up somewhere. Right, folks, well, here it is. It is the Rab Soul Wing, and I must admit, it's not pitched very well. I'm kind of in a, a ditch here, and it's just got a really low profile and it's going to be difficult to get in that so I think we'll have to move it just over a bit admittedly this is the first time I've pitched it so you should always practice in the garden first <laughs> right I'm going to try and reposition it right that'll do I've set up as best I can for tonight you can probably make out there I've got the Alp kit cloak bivy and obviously the Rab soul wing I've got the poles set at 110 centimetres at the front and about 700 at the back, I think. It's a bit, it's a bit low profile. But there you go. It's quite stealthy, actually. I mean, it's in olive green and it does blend into the hillside there. Rab don't supply any guy lines, so what I'm going to do is add some guy lines around the different points. So, in less windy nights, you can just lift it a little bit. It's just a little bit too low to the ground for my liking. Not too shabby a view though. I can see right out to our first seat. And if it wasn't so hazy, I could see Fife as well. But yes, it's looking good. Super boss. Right, that freeze dry meal I'm about to have, it cost me 5 50 not that long ago. Um, I bought some more quite recently and they've gone up to £6.90 now. And that's for the summit to eat ones. £6.90, I mean, that's what, £1.40? It's a huge increase. And don't get me wrong, I know everything's going up at the moment, but I just think it's a bit steep. And I might have to reconsider what I'm eating. I might have to go down the route that Kev does. He gets those uh, cheap instant pasta things and chucks in couscous and all that and it costs him like about a pound fifty or something it's probably as full to be honest so the uh, only thing is he burns his pot <laughs> where my pot's spotless because I've only ever boiled water in it but aye I'll, I'll need to look into something like that I'm right at the front of the tarp now I can pretty much sit up but it'd be good if I could just sit back a little bit out of the, the breeze but anyways, no matter. <clears throat> this whole setup, it weighs in about 700 kilograms. So the sill wing, that weighs 317 grams. <clears throat> the upkit cloak bivvy, that comes in at 282 grams. And then the A 
Eastern nails, they were 125 grams. So yeah, it comes in just under 700 if my maths is right there. So aye, it's, it's ultra light. Um, it takes up very little space in the pack, which is good as well. So the sun is just set to the west, but there's nothing to show you. It's actually quite claggy over there. I wouldn't be surprised if it rains. But basically, I'm just waiting till it gets dark now because this is like one of my favourite views and I've vlogged it before but when it gets dark and the city lights are out I just get all emotional, it's my home city But no, seriously, it's just a, it's a stunning view it's really nice just to be above the city and it's all just glowing beautifully so uh, I'll show you that again later on tonight though <laughs> I'll give you a laugh folks it's like 13 to 15 miles per hour wind in here, inside. The pitch is rubbish, honestly. I dropped the back end, and it was like a wedge, and that cut the wind out, but I couldn't get inside. Because I'm on this slope, it was just so close to the ground, and I don't know, I put the pole back in place, I don't know if you can see the, like, the, uh, the fly sheet is literally just inches above my head. I've got very little room to get into my bivvy bag. So, 15 miles per hour in here. <laughs> so I think I'm going to bail. Honestly, I'm 20 minutes drive to the house, half an hour down to the car. So, uh, yeah. I'm not in any danger, but why suffer? Why put yourself through this when you don't have to? So. <laughs> what a muppet. Right, I think I'm going to go. Just try to get packed up as quick as possible. So folks, that's me on the way back down. Lovely jubbly. Right, it's quarter to 11, I'm back in the car and uh, a bit disappointed how that went, but oh, these things happen sometimes. Where did I go wrong? The pitch wasn't great, I was in that little ditch, the wind changed direction slightly and it was funneling through like a wind tunnel. Um, I could have went, went out and repositioned it but I just couldn't be bored. It was easier just to call it quits and just head back down. I don't know if the tarps for me, I was getting a sore back, I can feel it now, just because it's so low. If I raised it a little bit then the wind would get under even more, so I don't know if it's for me. Maybe a couple of garden pitches, just suss it out. I did try and bring in the, the pegs a little bit to make the apex higher. That worked to an extent, it did give me a little bit more room but not much, so I don't know if it's really for me. Maybe I'm better just going out in a bivvy when it's uh, a nice night. If I need the tarp, just take a tent instead, so yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to wrap this up. If you've got any comments, please just drop them down below. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next one. Cheers!